It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm in a freezing garage because it's the only place in the house where I can do a bunch of crazy warm up exercises without waking up my girlfriend. But I'm not just tired. I'm also super nervous because in 20 minutes, I'm giving a workshop on vocal technique and my voice sounds horrible. Ooh, let's go. I have the good fortune to connect with a lot of other singing teachers and vocal organizations. And because of the success of my channel, I've been asked by a vocal organization in China to do a presentation on vocal technique. Some of the best singers in the world are coming out of China right now. Maybe because they're a little late to the singing party, China is having a huge revolution around vocals and singing. Singing shows and vocalists are the new rock stars in China. Another thing, Chinese people like their singers to be absolutely perfect. But that's a hard thing for me because I don't believe there is such a thing as a perfect performance, just improvement. But when you get invited to present on vocal technique, to a group of vocal perfectionists that don't even speak your language, you have to say yes, because it's a good learning experience. What could possibly go wrong? Because of the insane time difference, the workshop starts at 6 a.m. my time. The problem is that it takes the voice between 30 minutes and two hours to warm up completely. But that's assuming that you get good rest, are properly hydrated, and do a good warm up. In order to prepare, I set my alarm for 4 a.m. That should give me plenty of time to wake up, you know, get warmed up, and put my game face on. That's what I thought. But because I'm so nervous about the workshop, I keep having nightmares about sleeping through my alarm, and my body keeps waking me up every two hours. But when 4 a.m. finally arrives, I wake up and I am completely exhausted. Not only that, but I'm also super anxious and I can't drink coffee to wake up because coffee can be really hard on your voice. Then I realize I have no place to practice. Usually I can warm up and practice in my studio or in the shower before I have to teach, but it's 4 a.m. and Monica's still asleep and I don't wanna wake her up. That means there's only one place in the entire house that I can go to warm up where I won't wake everybody up. Even though it's January and it's 40 degrees, I go into the unheated garage and I start warming up my voice. When I start to sing, I cannot believe how bad it is. Usually my warmups are like starting a car. I just turn the key and my voice just turns on. But today it's like starting a car with a dead battery. I mean, every new exercise is making my voice just squeak and pop like some undead cartoon mouse. That's when the doubt creeps in. I can't possibly do this. There's no way I can teach these absolutely amazing singers. When I finish my warm up, my voice is still totally shot. But the show must go on, right? So as the workshop begins, I do as much talking as I possibly can to keep my voice waking up and warming up. But finally, it's time to sing something. One of the students wants to sing this absolutely beautiful Chinese song that happens to have a B4 in it, a high B. But a B4 is one of the most difficult notes for a guy to sing. Not only is the note incredibly high, but it also happens on an E vowel. But that's incredibly tricky to sing because that E makes you want to switch to falsetto. He tries to sing it, but he is straining his face off in order to hit that note. As a voice teacher, I know exactly what to do. I should give him a bratty na exercise, which will help him hit the note. Na, na, na. But that's a problem. I have no idea whether I can even hit that note. I mean, here I am, I'm the voice teacher. I should be able to sing this note any time. But between the crappy sleep, the bad voice, and the pressure of singing in front of 20 vocal perfectionists, I have no idea what to do. But summoning all the courage I can, I decide to go for it. Shulani comes out, and I am totally embarrassed. My voice is breaking into a dozen pieces. I hit that note all the time in private lessons, but I am falling apart in front of this young man 
who's having a hard time singing it himself. But I try again, and this time my voice barely holds together. Shalani! Just enough so that he knows what to do. He mimics it back, and he hits the right note. Hallelujah! Totally shattered by this experience. I teach the rest of the workshop, but demonstrating all of the examples an octave lower than they should be sung. In that silly workshop, I made almost every warm-up mistake possible. I didn't sleep well. I didn't give my voice enough time to properly warm up. I practiced in a damp, cold garage, and I let the, the anxiety and the overwhelming pressure of singing in front of other people totally overwhelm me. Learning to anticipate these obstacles and warming your voice up correctly is everything in singing. Check out this video with 10 amazing vocal warm-ups so this never happens to you.